Welcome to Ebony Ivy and Time. I'm Leona Dooley and you are in my kitchen. I welcome you each week to uh, take part in dinner preparation, to um, have fun doing DIY projects or table scapes or whatever it may be that we may be doing in this kitchen. I also invite you to be a part of the family. For those of you who are new subscribers, thank you very much. I really appreciate your support and that there will be new support and people who will continue to subscribe to the channel. I love being in my kitchen and I love having you right here with me. So today we are going to be tablescaping. Uh, we're going to come up with a beautiful tablescape. We are going to be uh, preparing dinner as we always do. So this week is going to be fun. Now, we won't do as much cooking this week as we normally would because, you know, most of the time I have something going every day. But this week, we're going to be picking up our grandbabies and they're going to be a part of our kitchen here at Ebony Ivy and Time. They're going to be cooking. They're going to be shopping for groceries. They're going to be the ones who are going to make the menu. So when you see those little fingers and you see them moving around, you'll know exactly what's going on because typically it's just my hubby and myself. And so I am glad to not only have them, but I welcome you every night in the kitchen of Ebony, Ivy, and Time. So stay tuned. Well, hello. I wanted you to see my kitchen table and this kitchen table is a little bit smaller than some others that I have but uh, or others that I work with anyway but um, this is the one where the big guy and I usually sit and have dinner. Uh, you'll see in the center that I have a, a centerpiece and uh, with that centerpiece I have candles I've got florals, uh, it all sits in a tray. I'm gonna bring you around and uh, you'll see that there's a picture actually, and I could put something else there, but that's from the Derby. And uh, it's one of the Derby postcards and the salt and pepper shaker. So everything's easy access and yet and still, it's nice on the eye. Now, what I decided that I'd like to do is to change this out and that's the fun part about having things that are transportable things that are mobile you can switch things out you can put things in a different place and uh, that's exactly what i'm going to do today so if you're interested stay with me well of course with any takedown the first thing we're going to do is to take everything everything off the table, starting with the napkins, the chargers, the sil those are silver chargers, the red chargers, which are a little light, and they're there really to protect the tablecloth and just add a little extra color. So I'm going to take those off the table. And for the moment, I'm going to remove the centerpiece. Aha, notice how I can just pick it up and I can take it wherever I want it to go. There we go. And I'm going to remove the tablecloth. Now, you know, at this point, everything needs cleaning. So I'm going to get my cleaning supplies out and get my glass tabletop cleaned off. I have my sprayway, which I really like and I use a lot. Put that on the table. I have some paper towel. And I'm going to give this a good clean. Okay. 
Now, as you know, next week, we're going to have four uh, additional little ones un underfoot. And uh, several are not so little, and some are little. So we'll have four in one week, and the next week we'll actually have five. So I am really looking forward to their visit. And uh, I am uh, preparing for them every day. So there's our table, nice and clean ready to go. Now knowing that I am going to add a different color. Okay, there we go. All right, nice and clean. Let's do something a little different. Now it's time to lay down the runners on the table. And I want runners in both directions. It's a pretty color, kind of a pumpkin color. I got this color because I can use it for fall as well as for any other time. And it blends with the colors in this house. So that works out very well. And, and we need this, this one go this way. Okay. We need to do a little straightening, just a little bit, and we're good to go. And lay those out flat. All right, I'll get the, the chargers are going to be next. Okay, let me place the chargers using kind of a creamy off-white charger with these. I think that will work. And let's see, which plate shall I use? Now that's going to be the fun part. Well, I decided, decided to go with my square set. And uh, I want to put those uh, flowers in. It shows the little ruffle around the outside. So let's see what else we'll do. Okay, I decided I'd use a little small saucer in the middle for a salad. Our little salad plates are going on. Oops. I need to wipe this one off. I thought he was nice and dry, but he's not. Okay, there we go, that's in. Okay, we're good to go. Now, tonight we will not need any bowls, but if we needed bowls, I'll show you what it would look like. Okay, you'll see that the, the bowls have the same design. They would sit there. shall we put in the center of the table? Okay, I found a wine bottle holder, um, or that's what I call it anyway. It's one of those little bags that you put it in. You can use it for, bag, for holidays or whatever, and it has such cute little fringy things and just kind of blended with the colors. So I'm going to take my container and I'm going to slip that down and bring it up into this wine bottle container. And I want the fringe, the little fringy part, to be on top because I want those little tassels to show. 
So I'm just going to kind of fold that in. And in fact, I can pull just a little bit and allow that to kind of drape in there. Pull all of this up so it will have a little draping on the side. And uh, in fact, I could probably turn it over and do it a little faster. But there we go. There's the bottom. There's the top. And I'm going to let that sit right there with the little tassels. I like those little tassels in the works. There we go. And what I'm going to do is then I'm going to add flowers to this arrangement. And some of those flowers, I'm just shopping my house. And uh, I'm going to put flowers into the bucket. All right, so let's start. And you know, I've got big pieces, little pieces. We always start with our greenery. But this time, I, instead of starting with this piece of greenery, I'm going to start with ivy, of course. Okay, we've got ivy in the bucket. I'm taking this little greenery and I'm going to put him aside because I don't think he's going to be a part of this arrangement. I do want my flowers that I had in my other arrangement. I want to keep those because I like the colors and I think they blend well with what we're doing. I'll stick those right into the center. And I don't want them too high, so that's why I'm really giving them a good shove down in there because I want everybody to be able to see never know when company might come for dinner. I'm looking forward to having you. Okay, there we go. And that's the good thing about wire. You can just move it where you want it. So we've got our red in. And we need, I think, a little yellow into the mix. I always like yellow. I think it just brightens up your basket, especially in the summer. There's one. I like a little triangle here. Two. And we have another one we're going to put over here. And that's going to make our three. One, two, and I'm going to tilt this just a little more. Three. There we go. Now, we also have some tiny yellows. And I'm going to kind of poke into the mix. There we go, one. So this is just a refresh. Change the look, change it up, change it all the time. So you have something to look at that's a little different. Not what you had before. Your family goes, oh, well that's interesting. Well, yes it is. Okay, now with this one, I'm not going to add any white into it. I got one more. Put that right there. There he goes. Kind of there in the middle. And I think that's enough. I still have a couple of pieces of ivy if I want to add a little bit more. Now, I'm going to add some tea lights. And those tea lights are going to sit. I'm going to see if I can bring you around. The tea lights are going to sit on top of our candlesticks right there. They're going to blend in very nicely. And they just kind of nestle in right there. Our salt and pepper shakers are here. If I wanted to add sugar or cream or anything like that, I could certainly do that. So, I'm going to take you off the tripod and bring you in a little closer. But, to be honest with you, I'm very satisfied with, to what, with the way tonight's table looks. Here's our centerpiece. Let's see our tea lights. Have our flowers in the mix. There's our little tassel 
from our wine sack that's in the mist that blends in with our tablecloth, our runners rather. There's our flowers. Here's the other side. See our table settings. And I think this is going to be a very nice setting for dinner with friends. When just before dinner, I'll put, I'll uh, light the tea lights so they'll sparkle. And I actually have a third one that I'll probably sit down in the tray. But dinner will be beautiful. That I added the third tea light, and I also took some of the ivy and put it down into the tray. So it looks like the ivy is trailing down into our tray that we've put together.